Do you think aftermarket CRT TVs will be made in the future for retro gaming? Uh, no. I think it's I think it's, it's an interesting question. Um, but unlike a say a company like Hyperkin, I guess that makes uh, aftermarket controllers for retro gaming, where there's a market for it, uh, relatively cheap overhead, uh, you know things like that, easy to do. Um, the technology for CRT TVs is getting to the point where it's going to be so out of date that it's actually probably going to be fairly expensive to do that again in the future if they wanted to, uh, and there's not going to be a big enough market to create. To, it, it, it's the same reason why the expansion packs for Nintendo 64s. Uh, the the ones they make in modern times are so expensive. It's because that you have to convince someone to keep an assembly line around to make yeah. a four megabyte fucking RAM chip, which is not going to be used for anything. Mm-hmm. Well, you would need to set up an entire production plant just to put together CRT TVs that are specifically going to be marketed to retro gamers. And and at this point, will cost just as much as getting an LCD TV because LCDs are so cheap. Right. Because because the technology you make, you'd have to reinvent. You basically have to reinvent the wheel to make these again. I don't see it happening. There are PVMs out there. There are CRTs out there. Many of these are built very, very well. Yes, there's going to come a point where, unfortunately, and I think it's in the way future, where these things are... Way future. Yes, way future. There's so many TVs that are still around. There will be a point where they're no longer around, and that is sad. Hell, you can probably go into some Best Buy warehouse, and they still have CRTs in the back. For the remainder of our lifetime, I think we're probably set on CRT TVs. I I think what you're going to see more, I mean, you see it now as you have, uh, you know, up-converted to make sure you can still use it. I mean, hell... hell, That's what I see, too. even Even most LCD TVs, I'd say for the next 20 years, are going to have composite on it. Not just component composite yeah. will be on there. Because they realize that, hey, maybe someone has some weird device they want to hook up. And it, plus, it doesn't cost them anything. It's part of the component to have the composite on it. You know, so... A, compo- a lot of them don't even put composite on. They just put a component on there that auto-switches between exactly. composite. But I'm saying that'll be around TVs for the next 20 years anyway, yeah, 30 years. So you don't have to worry about that. What I do think you might see in the future, though, the only lost technology will be light gun technology. So maybe someone will come up with some sort of a wireless adapter for a, a, a zapper if there's money in it. Or maybe it'll just come out. You know, I can picture a company doing, you know, there's there's two there's two um, uh, controllers that came out. The Pro Beam. And what was the other one on the NES that came out that had <laughs> that had the uh, the sensor on it? So maybe someone a hyperkin will come out with a wireless or, or not wireless, but they could. They'll come out with a zapper that doesn't need the click. Maybe I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I could see that. Otherwise, no, no. There's no money in TVs. They're too bulky and expensive to manufacture and get over here for what? For the retro game market, you're a lot smaller than you think, unfortunately. Yeah. 